Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 online video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some potential vehicles that I could see coming as a DLC, similar to what we saw like the Valentine's Day DLC and the Beach Bum Pack. So if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please drop a like on the video guys, I would really appreciate it. Other than that, let's get started. So I'll leave a link in the description of where I am actually getting this information from, and I've actually been told by this for, from a few guys that actually look into the source of the uh, code, so they've kind of confirmed my suspicions but there's a few vehicles that were listed in a it's a file name called am underscore contact underscore request and it was put into the game after patch 1.01 or 1.02 and what's interesting enough about this is the vehicles that i'm about to tell you are also found in a list with cars like the buffalo or not the buffalo the uh, the bifta and uh, the albany roosevelt and the canis kalahari similar to the dlc vehicles that we've gotten so far so the four of them that were found in the file are the Jester, the Turismo, the Huntley, and the Alpha. Now I have strong evidence that these actually could be DLC vehicles because A, not only are they already into the game files as we speak, but these are also vehicles that have been in Grand Theft Auto, uh, Grand, the Grand Theft Auto series previously. The Jester, the Huntley, and the Alpha were all in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and the Turismo was in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and in Grand Theft Auto 4. So I'll give you a little bit of details on each car. The Jester is a two-seater car. It's kind of like a mix between a sports car and a, like an off-roady uh, muscle car type vehicle. So that's going to be really cool to see coming back into the game, hopefully. Uh, the Turismo, as you might know from Grand Theft Auto 4, I believe is like a take on a Ferrari and or Lamborghini, a very fast sports car. Uh, the Huntley is actually similar to a Range Rover or a Land Rover in this game. So in Grand Theft Auto 5, it would be the equivalent of the baller. And the Alpha, the Alpha, the Alpha is kind of like a uh, smaller two-door sports car. So it's not necessarily a speedy car, but it's more like maybe like a Pontiac mix. So it'll be really interesting to see if these vehicles will come into the game. It seems that Rockstar is doing DLCs based on holidays now or upcoming holidays. So the next one might be like a St. Patrick's Day or there might be one uh, for over the summer or something like that. Or there might be just a vehicle DLC announced where some of these appear. But there's some highly strong evidence that these are coming out. Like I said, some of these are my favorite cars from previous Grand Theft Autos. I mean, in Grand Theft Auto 4, the Turismo was my favorite car because you could steal it from... Uh, the actual Ferrari dealership in downtown Times Square uh, in Grand Theft Auto 4. So it was a really cool vehicle. Uh, I'm really excited to see if these are coming back because it's interesting. We haven't gotten vehicles like this. The Beach Bum Pack vehicles were kind of goofy like the van and the dune buggy. And then the Albany Roosevelt was more of like a slower limousine. But most of these cars, including the Jester and Turismo, uh, are definitely more on the sportier end. And then we get some sedans and like an SUV in the Huntley. So it'll be cool to see if these come back in Grand Theft Auto 5. I would love to see them. Definitely leave me a comment down below what you think and what cars you would like to see returning to Grand Theft Auto 5. Other than that, guys, like I said, if you did enjoy the video or found the information helpful, please drop a like on the video, guys. I would really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to see all my daily gaming content. Other than that, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.